All right, in this video, I'm going to do some examples about finding, uh, finding functions that will produce a given composite function. So uh, oftentimes, we're given our two functions, f and g, and we want to figure out the composition. Suppose we want the final answer. Um, suppose we'll call it h of x. Suppose we want that to be negative 2x plus 1 all raised to the fourth power. We want to know two functions, f and g. So we want to know what f of x should equal, and we want to know what g of x should equal, so that when we do f composed with g of x, we want that to equal our function h of x. Um, one way to kind of think about it is, um, in this case, g of x is going to kind of be, to me, it's the one we're putting inside of f. So I kind of think about that as being the inside function. Again, that's uh, definitely not any sort of technical terminology, but that's what I think about. It's the one on the inside. And if I look at this problem, to me, you know, I see something uh, inside being raised to the fourth power. Notice the thing inside is negative 2x plus 1. So I think we could let g of x equal the stuff on the inside, negative 2x plus 1. And well, what are we doing to that stuff? What we're doing to that is we're raising it to the fourth power. So I think we can let f of x be uh, the function that takes something to the fourth power. Namely, we could let it be just x to the fourth. Notice if we plug g of x, negative 2x plus 1, into f of x, we would get this exact function back. So I believe these two functions would certainly, uh, would certainly do it for us. Okay, let's look at another one here. Um, so same thing, we want to figure out f of x and g of x, so that when we do the composition, we get 8 times 2x squared minus this quantity 2x plus 6. So again, kind of notice the function on the inside. To me, the stuff on the inside, um, I see these two x's in parentheses. I'm going to let g of x just equal 2x. And correspondingly, I'm going to let f of x, well, I want, a, I want a function that takes this 2x and squares it and subtracts away that 2x. So I think if we take 8 x squared, and then if we had minus x plus 6, notice if we replaced, if we plugged the 2x in everywhere that we had an x, notice we would get this exact function back that we have up here. So I claim that g of x equals 2x, and if we use f of x as 8x squared minus x plus 6, those would be two functions that work. Uh, let's see. One more example here. So g composed with f of x equals the square root of 8 x to the third minus 1 squared plus 1. Um, again, not necessarily always uh, unique answers, but here's certainly one that I believe would work. So now we're doing g composed with f of x, so let's be careful. Because f of x is now going to be kind of playing the role of my inside function. And a lot of times on these problems, again, I just look what's in parentheses. So let's see, I think we could let f of x be the function x to the third minus 1. And what are we doing to x to the third minus 1? Well, what's happening to that quantity is it's getting multiplied by 8. Um, it's getting squared and we're adding 1 to it. So I claim that if we let g of x equal the square root of 8x squared plus 1, again, notice if we plug in f of x, the only place we would plug it in would be inside the parentheses, and then we would get 8 times x, x to the third minus 1 squared plus 1. Okay, one last one here. Um, we want f and g so that we get x to the ninth minus x to the sixth plus 7. This one's a, a little uh, trickier, I think. So again, we want f of g of x. Um, the thing I'm going to do uh, is, is maybe uh, maybe try to rewrite this one a little bit. Um, let's see, we could write this as x cubed cubed. That would give me x to the ninth minus um, x uh, cubed squared. That would give me x to the sixth, and then plus seven. And now I'm kind of doing this trick um, where we've got something in. Uh, 
something in uh, uh, parentheses being raised. Notice the same things inside the, the parentheses. Um, so I'm going to let this inside function, I'm going to let that be my g of x. So I'm going to let g of x equal x to the third power. And what are we doing to that x to the third power? Well, we're taking that and cubing it, and then we're taking that and subtracting away the square of it, and then we're adding 7. So I think if we let f of x equal x cubed minus x squared plus 7, those would be two functions that work, because again, if I plug g of x into uh, my f of x, everywhere there's an, um, an x, I'm going to put in x cubed, I'm going to put in x cubed, and if I do that again, I'll simplify and get x, x cubed cubed minus x cubed squared plus 7, which again would give me the very original composition that we wanted.